Howdy, AP Precal. It's Miss Kush. These are Mr. Passwater's notes um, from 3-2, and it's something I've already covered, sort of. So I, I thought in terms of his last page here deals with the unit circle, where our radius is now equal to 1. Well, that's how I introduce it. And I just wait until we get to polar to change the size of the radius. Um, but AP does not. So I'm going to teach his notes. Um, a lot of this should be a review with a slight extension for my kids. So I hope that makes sense. Um, we talked before about here's the initial side of your angle and here's the terminal side. Uh, and so the, the second ray, there we go. So um, they're saying this is angle theta. Okie dokie. Positive angles go in a counterclockwise. So when we go in, actually, you can think of it as when we go in the order of the quadrants, this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, this is quadrant four. When I go in order, I've gone in a positive, um, I have a positive angle. When I go the opposite, it's a negative. Okay, so a negative or, or in a clockwise direction. Uh, okay, so then one of the ways that we measure angles is using radians. Um, and the way that I like to think about this is that if I have, okay, on the unit circle, oh, that looks terrible, but hang on, forget that. Okay, on a circle, when the radius and the arc length are the same, so if I am a little ant, if I walk from here to here, or I walk from here to here, to here and I've gone the same distance, this angle that's formed, when R and L, okay, let's say this, when r equals l, theta equals 1 radian. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. If my l value were to go the entire distance around my circle, well, this is going to be 2 pi r. Okay, um, if r is 1, then my angle, well, then, then I've gone 2. Um, hang on, let me see what do I want to do here. Well, we end up with my arc length is equal to theta times r. Um, and so if my arc length of uh, arc length is equal to 2 pi r, then this, and this is theta times, well, what is my r value? r. OK, there we go. If this entire arc length, if the circumference was equal to theta times r, then um, we end up getting theta is equal to 2 pi radians. So the whole distance around the circle, that's a weird way for me to teach that. I hope that made sense. Go back and watch my other videos because I taught that better in other things. Um, so we have um, what they're saying here. The measure of the angle indicated on the left is arc length divided by radius, radians. Um, so the radian measures... The, the radian measure of an angle in standard position is the ratio of the length of the arc centered at the origin created by the angle to the radius of that same arc. Um, what I have taught is that arc length equals theta r, so they're saying theta is equal to the arc length divided by r. Okay. So now this is a quarter of the circle. So this is a quarter of 2 pi, which means that this angle here is pi over 2 radians. Uh, find the measure of the angle formed by a third of the circle. OK, a third of 2 pi is equal to 2 pi r, 2 pi over 3. That's what we would say. And where is that? Well, it's 2, two thirds, so that would be that angle. Two, I lied. It's 2 pi over 3. It's a third of the way around the circle. So this would be 1 third. Here comes the, another third, and then you're back to here. Can you see how I've divided it into 3? Uh, okay. The unit circle is a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 1 and everything. We love the unit circle. It is our friend. Um, it says it's, it's, um, it's pivotal throughout the rest of this course because of its incredible usefulness. I tell my students the unit circle never goes away. So know it, know it well. Okay. Um, and so we have the sine, cosine, and tangent on the unit circle. So sine is y, cosine is x, tangent is y over x, it's sine over cosine. It's also the slope of that. Um, and I have all sorts of videos already on this. So um, I'm gonna finish his notes, but then go search unit circle on my channel and you'll find lots and subscribe, that's always great. Okay, um, the figure shows a center circle centered at the origin with an angle measure theta in standard position. The terminal ray of the angle intersects the circle at point P. The coordinates are that and that. Find the following. Okay, well, so the sine value is the y value. 
the cosine value is the x value. The tangent is the slope and it's root three. So I know that because this was the, the this is the radian pi over three. Um, I wonder how he teaches this in class because I teach this differently, um, but that's fine. Okay, um, so it's the y value divided by the x value to find, um, to find tangent. So if I multi I'm multiplying fractions, I can multiply by the reciprocal. That's where I got the root three. Okay, the point R is the result of, um, after point P is reflected over the y-axis. Here's the y-axis. Um, let alpha be the angle and standard position who, okay, so basically this point has now reflected over here. And so, oh, pretend I can draw a straight line. This angle is alpha. So sine of alpha, it's the same, it has the same y value, so it's still root three over two. The cosine value is now moving in the negative direction. And the tangent would have, um, notice it's the same values. This is a positive slope here, and this is a negative slope here. Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't see what I was writing. Well, anyway, negative root three is the answer to that. All right, go find my other videos because I think I um, fleshed this out a little bit differently. Uh, maybe there's more coming, I'm not sure. We're gonna figure this out as we go. All right, good luck, go study.